bit sketchy? A cone-shaped princess hat is our recurring symbol for the aortic valve. And just like that mitral valve, it can get stenosed. Or it can get all regurgy and stuff. Let's start with stenosis. Aortic stenosis is, by far, the most common lesion affecting the aortic valve. It typically affects patients in the 6th to 8th decades of life. So, in this scene, the disease process will be embodied by the elderly, crotchety stepmother, putting some serious stenosis on that aortic princess hat. What's her backstory, though? I mean, was she always this... crusty? And what is that on her face? Well, it turns out that in North America and Europe, the most common cause of aortic stenosis is calcific degeneration of the aortic valve leaflets. Hence the calcium milk mustache on her upper lip. Her upper leaflet, if you will. Leaf lip. Get it? Yeah, you get it. Less common causes include valve damage from endocarditis, metabolic diseases, systemic lupus erythematosus. But for all intents and purposes, calcification should be the first thing that comes to mind when considering aortic stenosis. Dystrophic calcification of the valve leaflets involves endothelial and fibroblast cell death secondary to chronic hemodynamic stress or atherosclerotic inflammation. Yeah, I said cell death. Just take a look. This cranky mistress kills everything she touches, including dreams. See how that aortic valve is getting all necrotic? Calcification is one of the hallmarks of cell injury and death, left behind after any kind of tissue necrosis. So this is not just some kind of benign calcium crust forming here. This valve is undergoing permanent damage. It was once thought that calcification was just a normal finding caused by wear and tear on an aging valve. However, it's becoming increasingly more accepted that the underlying mechanism involves the same kind of vessel damage that causes atherosclerosis. So the same risk factors likely apply here, including hypertension, hyperlipidemia, diabetes, inflammation, all the stuff related to the progression of atherosclerosis. Notice that the red, gunky candle there looks just like an artery overflowing with atherosclerotic plaques. Histologically, dystrophic calcium shows up on valves as fine, gritty white clumps. See? Kinda crunchy looking. Stenosis will progress asymptomatically for years, but once it starts to cause symptoms of outflow obstruction, prompt valve replacement surgery is a must. This stage is usually reached in the 6th to 8th decades of life. 